Hello and welcome to Yak Wax Lips. My name is Michael, your point and click adventurer, and this is episode 8 of Let's Play The Curse of Monkey Island. In the previous episode, we finally got that frigging doorbreaker from Cutthroat Bill. Is it Bill? I think it's Bill. Gave it to Blondebeard, and now he has a broken tooth in a bubble. Um, we tried to pop it with many, many things, but nothing worked. The other thing, however, we found out is that he was a member of the Beach Club and that he lost his membership card cooking. So I've got two I've got two ideas. I've been thinking about this over the night. Over over last night. So it might be in maybe in the in the biscuits or maybe in that chicken or somewhere in here. Or it could be in that pot that we ended up in when we were El Bolio Diablo. Um and maybe on the ship in Danger Cove. So, I'm, seems I'm here. I'm going to have a look around here first, just to see. I don't want any maggot-filled biscuits. He's already got one. Um, yeah, maybe it's in. Maybe it's. I mean, I doubt it's inside even more. But let's just try it anyway, shall we? This serrated knife won't work here. Okay. Can we carry on eating it? I don't think we can. No. No. Right. And um, we did try the knife on the chicken, didn't we? No. This chicken is too hard to be damaged by mere metal. Okay, so it's too hard to be damaged by metal. What else have we got? Is this harder than metal? It isn't I can't really. Use the no. um, can we cut a little shape out of it? A little hole? And this biscuit cutter won't do any good there. Mm, maybe not. Scissors? No. This chicken is too hard to be damaged by mere metal. Okay, so mere maybe magic wand. The magic wand has no effect on that. Hmm. Um, chicken grease, gonna rub it to death. Chicken grease won't do any good with that. No. Could I get the maggots to eat it? Ah, awesome! I was thinking I'm gonna have to go all the way to Danger Cove again. Oh, that's killer! I presume. That, oh my god, those yeah. maggots! <laughs> those maggots just made their way home into the biscuit barrel. I presume that is a club card. Bingo. I mean, if if that doesn't deserve a like on this video, then nothing does. Look how far we've got already, guys. Amazing. And it's only, what, two and a half minutes into the episode? This is going to be a good one. That means we've opened up, we've opened up an entire new place with the Cabana Boy. Let's have a look at this bad boy. Brimstone Beach Club. Member since 1632. Wicked. Let's go. I'm, I'm even not, gonna, not even going to bother with this bubble because there might be something at the beach. That, um, that I have to pop that with. I don't know. Uh, right, where do we go? This way. I'm over the moon. <laughs> I was genuinely worried that I'm going to be walking around this episode for the entire episode, clicking on things randomly. Delightful. Right, where are we? Go. That's it. We've got to do something with this chap at some point as well. No idea what, but... There you go. Never actually seen this bit before. Is that where he comes from? Wow, he did a bit of a runner then. And there we go. Right, let's go to the cabana. I've come the wrong, the wrong way. Should have gone out the other way. But never mind. Such is life. Take the scenic route. All right there, cabana boy. Hi. Yes? Um... Hand me a towel, young man. Those towels are for club members only. Okay, can I... Okay, let's, let's gotta just... Be going. Gotta be going. I was going to see if I can say I am a member, but no, let's just give him the, give him the member card. Hey, excuse me. Yes, you filthy little man. My card. <laughs> you filthy little man. Let me see that. Oh, no! In the name of all things clean... You've got a membership. Yes. And I think I'll just take one of your fluffy clean towels and enjoy a nice relaxing stroll down your beach. No! <laughs> you mustn't! <laughs> I must, and perhaps I'll sunbathe nude. Then perhaps I'll stay here and tell you my life story. I just spent weeks on a raft without a toothbrush. Quiet, the voices in my head are telling me something. Um, I'm going to do that one. Quiet! The voices in my <laughs> head are telling me something. Now that I think about it, it is nice out on the far end of the beach. You should go there. You should go there now. Awesome. So I'm guessing I can pick up some of these things. Probably not the coconut oil. 
may I please have some of your oil? That oil is solely for the use of the fry station technician. All right, so that's a no. Can we have a weenie? Yeah, no. It looks like some of those are older than I am. Uh, on a side note, I um, if you didn't see my Let's Play of Monkey Island 2, and the steaming weenies, um, what's it called? What wrap scallion steaming weenie hut? Um, I've designed a t-shirt for that, which you can get at my website, yakwackslips.com. Little plug there. Go and have a look at it. It looks pretty cool, if I do say so myself. Nice fluffy towel. Awesome, we have a nice fluffy towel. Dry towel. I just want to see what the beach is like. This is part of the game that I vaguely remember. Well, let's see if... Let's see if... Let's see if I'm right. Yeah, there's a guy there. Anything? Apart from the sunbather, I think that's it, isn't it? Alright, let's go to the sunbather then. There's a little gate there. Ooh, oh! It's hot. Okay, so we can't walk across that. With these holes in my shoes, I'll never get across that hot beach. I'm kind of thinking we have to lay the towels down. All oh, right. Okay. Wow, that's one hot beach. That's not. That's not what we're gonna do then. I'm assuming we can get another towel. We can. Okay, so I'm thinking maybe we put it in the ice bucket, make it cold and wet. Nice fluffy. that work? Yes. Awesome. Do I have to get this another one? This towel is soaking wet. I'm going to get a couple more. Nice fluffy towel. How many can I get? I'll just take one more. Okay, so I've got loads of towels. Towels are all wet now. Awesome. Let's use those wet towels on the beach. And then go and talk to that sunbather. Alright, where is I? Wet towels. There we go. I'm not sure if we have to do it quick or not. I was going to say, how do we get back? But there's a gate. Mug. Oh, a mug. Ooh, I wonder if we have to get that mug and use it on the lemonade chap. Let's just pick it up and see. He probably won't let me. Oh, we got it. That was easy. Let's talk to him. Uh, I'm going to sleep. Oh, wow, you're pale. He is pale, because he's in the middle of the Caribbean. Um, right. Wow, you're pale. Look, babe. <laughs> I haven't been sunbathing for very long, so cut me some slack. How long have you been out here? Since October. <laughs> I've seen correctional fluids with better color than you. Yeah, babe. I'm not the tannest cat around, but as you can see, I'm working on it. I'm working on it. I'm Guybrush Threepwood. Very nice to meet you, Mr. Threewood. I am Palido. Palido Domingo. I am so glad you're here. Finally. Someone on this island with some manners. Hey, my drink needs refreshing. Take it away and bring me another. That's very nice. Uh, I don't think you understand. I'm a mighty pirate. I'm sorry, babe. I really sincerely am. Perhaps I didn't use the magic word. Take this drink away and bring me another. Now! <laughs> Do we have to? We're just going to get him like a drink. Join my crew? Oh no, babe! I'm not a sailor. I make my living off the hard work and talent of others. You're a project leader on a computer game? No, no. Hmm, but I'm a high-powered talent agent. Major stars. We're talking major stars here. I'm looking for Blood Island. Do you know where it is? Nope. Never heard of it. Hmm. You look like you've lived under a rock your whole life. My complexion is a little on the light side, I'll give you that. But soon I'll be a bronze god. 
I'm just going to keep going over and over this, aren't, we? aren't I? So I think I might go back to the, the lemonade stand and switch those cups over. Are you sure you won't join my crew? Um, and so I just ask him this one thing. You've got the savage pail. <laughs> Please, babe. If you say any more, I will become very self-conscious. All right, okay. See you around. I'm assuming I can go through this gate. And that will just take me back to the map. And then I probably can come straight back here. Yeah, there we go. Yeah, Brimstone Beach, Cabana. So I can go to, still go to the Cabana Boy. And I can go to Brimstone Beach. Right. Let's go and get some lemonade. There we go. Finally there. Um, I'm presuming I can't just switch the mugs. Look! A three-headed monkey! Oh boy, oh boy! <laughs> Gee willikers, is this gonna be swell? Hey! Just because you're a grown-up doesn't mean you can waste my time. There was no three-headed monkey. I'm sorry, Kenny. Right, give me, give me some more lemonade. Give me some more lemonade, you little chiseler. That'll be a nickel. Ah, that was as refreshing as morning dew. Hey, how did you drink all the lemonade? You switched mugs on me, you cheap. I hope you're happy. You put a budding young entrepreneur out of business. <laughs> oh dear. So I guess I just pick up that pic pic picture. Can't Ugh, say picture. Thank goodness it's not a porcelain picture. What is this deal with porcelain? If anyone knows, let I me know in the comment. Anymore. Is it full? It's an empty picture. Empty. Bottomless mug. It's a mug with a hole in the bottom. What could we put in the picture um is there any water anywhere obviously being an island there is plenty of water hmm chicken grease can we use a chicken grease for the chicken grease won't do any good but chicken grease won't do any good with that well i was i was hoping that that would get him get him a drink to give to the other the other chap i don't know what that would do but there you go it's there anyway. Right, I'm going to go to Brimstone Beach and I'm going to put this bottomless mug on him. I've brought you a new mug. Thanks. Right, so I guess I'm just going to have to... Can I go this way? I'm going to have to go all the way around. Maybe I can use the picture with the ice bucket. I'd rather go around the long way than go across that hot sand. All right, come on then. Oh, that's that was easy. Um, yeah, maybe we use the picture with the ice bucket. No, that would be pointless. It wouldn't be pointless. Do we have any other drink? We don't. Where else is? Where else can you get a drink from? I mean, I'm kind of thinking the waterfall in on Danger Cove. Let's try that. I'm not sure where else. Because there's no bar in here, is it, apart from a restaurant? Is there. Is there anything else? No, that would be pointless. Hmm. Whilst I'm here, I'm going to try the pie pan with that. This pie pan won't do any good there. No. Danger Bay. What drink can we get in then? There's nothing here we can. Nothing here we can use, right. Maybe we go back to. Where could we go? The Cabana Boy? Again? Right, what? Let's, let's have a think, let's have a think. Right, the swamp. Was there a drink in the swamp? There wasn't really, was there? 
Danger Cove, that's where I've just been. It could be on the ship. But I can't get anything on the ship because the monkeys are there. Fort, there's nothing. Nothing at the fort. Puerto Polio. Hmm. Let me go back to the commander boy and talk to him. See if he can give me a drink. Oh, cabana boy. Yes. It's quite hot. Fetch your towel and mop my brow, would you? Can I have another look at that card of you? <laughs> uh, actually, the towels are right here. I'll just help myself. Oh, I can't do anything. Um, deep fryer? I, I obviously would need that cooking oil for something. I don't know what. Can I pick up any more towels? Nice fluffy towel. Can I use those in there again? And then maybe drench them out into the picture? Or maybe into the... Directly into the mug? This towel is soaking wet. Come on, guy brush. I'd rather go around to the gate than go through that towel business again. Go on then. There we go. Now, can we rinse this wet towel into the mug? A uh, damp towel would be of no use here. What about onto the chair? Yeah, I don't think he'd like that. The pitcher's empty. What could I fill it up with? Chicken grease. Chicken grease won't do any good no, with that. No, that doesn't sound very nice. Is there a tap anywhere I'm missing? I can't really remember. Paste. I can't paste that. <laughs> paste. I can't paste that. No, okay. Let's go back again then. Anything else here that I'm missing? What did that say? So that's the bottom of the smug. Maybe the dye. Isn't there a vat of dye here? Oh, and then maybe the dye, and then he thinks that he's gone red. Yes, it's that's it. Now. Right. So we're going to pour this dye over him and he's going to think that he's tanned and then I don't know what will happen then. But something, that seems right to me. Maybe he moves and I need the towel or something. Let's find out, shall we? Unless I'm completely wrong. But I have a picture of red dye now. Here's your drink, sir. Yes. You're burning! Ah! All those months in the sun and my tan is just gonna peel away! I better turn over! <laughs> Good idea. Ooh! That's a map. I'll never memorize that map. It's far too complex. Can I get that? Whatever that is? No. Um, can I... Yeah, pick up. <laughs> I can't just rip the map off his back. <laughs> nah. Talk to map. Right, what have we got here that we can use for a map? Uh, flyer? I want to hang on to this flyer. There might be a discount. Wet towel. A uh, damp towel would be of no use. I'm trying to think if I can, like, trace it or something. Um, magic wand? The magic wand has no effect on that. Um, pirate literature. This is only for reading. Um, <laughs> serrated bread knife. That's barbaric. <laughs> I don't want to give it to him. No. What about scissors instead? That's barbaric. <laughs> You've done worse things, Skybrush. Come on, man. Um, what else could we do? Um, could we just pour the red dye on that so he... I don't want to ruin the map. Oh, that's to ruin the map. Could we grease it off him? Chicken grease won't do any good with that. Um... Not too sure. Hmm... Right, what I'm going to do is, he says that something about a coupon here, and that's the voodoo lady. So I might just go quickly and see the voodoo lady, since I haven't seen her for quite a while. It's been a 
been a few episodes since we've seen her. I'm presuming, I mean, I haven't played... Um, I haven't played Monkey Island 4 or 5 at all. Like, nothing. But I'm presuming that she's in there. Because Voodoo Lady is a staple of the series. Let's go. Can we give anything to Morton? Let's give, let's give him a glove. I don't think he'd like that. I don't think he'd like that either. But it would be funny. So what, what actually is this flyer? Is it a coupon thing? Tong. Oh, he talks to her straight away. I was trying to, I was going to try and give it to her. Um, that's pretty much, that's pretty much everything I've I've said before, isn't Chuck it? And his skeleton pirates. True evil can never be destroyed completely. But I heard him blow up and everything. <laughs> You'd be surprised at how much abuse an evil undead zombie pirate can take. Right, how can I finally destroy him for good? Well, how can I finally destroy him for good? No one knows. His power seems to grow with every incarnation. You may have dealt with him for now. But this respite can only be temporary at best. Hmm. Sorry about that little cut there. Um, it just it just crashed for a second, and then I'm back again. Uh, right. When I finally found Big Whoop and was enormously disappointed. Big Whoop is pure evil. You were lucky to escape alive. I can't remember much about it. Just that I was expecting so much more and felt so let down. Yes, it is the source of much of LeChuck's power. I'm never going back there again. I have foreseen otherwise. Oh, so we have to go back you to Big will Whoop. return to Big Whoop and confront LeChuck once again. Um, on, the, um, on the subject of Big Whoop, the end of Monkey Island 2, when I was younger, it was a total surprise. I didn't really understand it. I don't fully understand it now, but I appreciate it, and I really like the ending. So... Do you like the ending of Monkey Island 2? Let me know in the comments. Just, you know, you can obviously watch the Let's Play of Monkey Island 2 and let me know in those comments, but we're talking about it now, so just let me know. Yes, no, indifferent. I like it. What makes you think LeChuck will be back? Some men can search their entire lives and never discover their reason for being. LeChuck has found his. To perpetually rise from the dead and torment you and Elaine. <laughs> That's his purpose now, is it? What he does best. <laughs> Gee, when you put it that way, it's kind of hard to stay mad at him. He's good at his job, right. Um, we know how to lift the curse. Uh, we know who kidnapped Elaine. We... What do we what know what is island this, anyway? this is? You have landed on Plunder Island. Don't think we ever asked that. Plunder Island. Sounds appropriately piratey. Naturally. It's a sort of retirement community for ex-pirates and their spouses. Hmm, sounds exciting. Lately, there has been all too much excitement on the island. All centering around Governor Marley, the Chuck, and a giant chicken. <laughs> what about this giant chicken business? Ah, yes, Skybrush. You have landed on an island gripped by the cold, clammy hand of fear. Don't you think you're being a bit overdramatic? This was a peaceful island until the great beast landed on our shores. Some say it was sent to make the islanders pay for their cruelty. Others claim it was simply blind fate. Whatever the impetus, it came. <laughs> what came? A giant chicken? Uh, that one. <laughs> what? What? I'm not even at the scary part yet. Oh, sorry. Go ahead. It was El Pollo Diablo, the giant demon chicken. Tall as a man and twice as powerful, his massive drumsticks propel him through the dark jungle with ease. No one has seen the beast, but on the eve of the full moon, his blood-curdling squawk can be heard from every corner of this wretched island. In the 
dark of night, he roosts patiently, watching, waiting for the one day. No, 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 wait. Don't tell me. Let me guess. He's hatching the bi diabolical scheme. He's establishing a new pecking order. He's going to buck, buck, buck the system. He's crossing the road. He's crossing to the road to freedom. He roams the island exacting terrible vengeance on those who would capture and eat his smaller brethren. Oh, give me a break. There were once others like you, skeptical to the true nature of the beast. But they're all dead now, pecked into a bloody pulp by his savage beak. But I'm sure you have nothing to worry about. Yeah, right, whatever. <laughs> right. Um, I think I've had enough. Thanks. I've heard all I needed to know. We can always we can always Thanks for your help. go into these go. conversations a little bit, a little bit more later on. However, we are going to leave it there for today's episode. I feel like we started on a roll. The first thirty seconds, we um, hammered it out, and then I don't know. We kind of we've we've got to we've got to hmm, we've got to get that map off the back of that guy. Go find some paper or something, or I don't know. Who knows? Maybe we can use this paper. We'll sort it all out tomorrow. Toy scissors? Did I do that last last time? I think I did. I don't know. Anyway, um, yes, thank you for watching. Um, as always, please leave a like. I really appreciate it. And until next time, have a wonderful morning, afternoon, evening, whatever it is you are doing right now. And take care.